My story is the story of a man who starts off at the bottom and with a bit of hard work continues along the bottom and finally ends up at the bottom. Hey, this is Classic Cars and Comics. Thank y'all very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's roll. If there's one thing I've learned with buying Jeeps is, or buying Jeep related stuff, you better get moving fast, have cash with you. You need to be able to roll fast. Always be prepared. Um, it is New Year's Eve and some Rubicon wheels and tires with only 4,000 miles, 33 inch tires. They just popped up. I'm going to drive a couple hours to get to them. Uh, but I think for the price that I'm getting five of them, it is a great, great value. So I am in route right now, driving as safely and as smoothly as possible and uh, trying to get a good deal on some wheels and tires. Let's roll. All right, I got them. They look nice. There's five of them. The one's laying down and got it strapped in, but uh, man, they look nice. I'm really ready to see them on the actual Jeep. So that's coming to you. Well, that's what it's gonna look like all said and done. These are Wild Peak uh, Falcons or Falcon Wild Peak. They are 28570 17s. These are, where did I see that? There we go. 26575 16 So this will give me a little bit bigger wheel for if I ever upgrade the brake system. It's not so much, you know, like massively larger that I'm really worried about it fitting and all that stuff with the lift going on there. So, hey, should work out well. Okay, this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward process. This tool does a few different things. It will remove valve core, it'll retap threads inside, retap threads outside, and reams inside valve. Now, what we're hoping for is that I'm gonna be able to just to get in there with this tool and just put in one of these new cores in each one of these wheels. Now, I've never, ever, ever done this before. So I know if I can do it, y'all can too. So here's what one of those little valve cores looks like. That's a good little close up of it. This is gonna go outside, you know, towards you, if you will. And then that will go down in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can just hand thread it in there. It does hand thread in there really, really super easy. So now I believe I just use this end of the tool to tighten it down in there. You gotta be a little bit careful. Sometimes this wants to scratch on your, your rim or whatever, but that went in there really easy. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to get some air and uh, let's see if it'll hold air. Now I'm gonna have to maneuver this tire a little bit for it to work, but this should hold air now. Okay, I'm at a good stopping spot for my air. And now if I unplug this, hopefully I don't hear any air running. Nope, okay, it worked. Yay, it's amazing when a plan comes together. So that's how simple it is. Um, so if you buy you know, a, a pair of wheels and tires that the valve core has already been taken out of, it is a simple and cheap fix to get that replaced. And uh, I've never done that before, so really super easy. Oh, and one other thing. Need to put some sh uh, slime valve caps on there. All right.
peu dur. Look brand new. So I did buy a pair of these off of Amazon. Now this, the other one is brand spanking new. Uh, this one looks like it might have had, you know, an application at some point, but I, this is only going to go back here on the old rear tire carrier. So um, I didn't want to break the bank. And since I bought it off of Amazon uh, and I bought it like new, I saved a little bit of money. I'll post the dollar amount like right up in here or something, but. Yeah, it's a little dusty, but other than that, brand new. All right, that went on really easy, so let's just mount the uh, spare on there now. Problem is, is I don't got my tiny bolts here. Do the old long arm stretch there. I didn't think that one out very well, did I? All right, a little bit of grunting. It is on there. Let's see what it, uh, let me move the camera back a little bit, or at least the, the zoom, and I'll uh, open and close it. Works good. Yeah, a little side profile. Looking good, baby girl. Okay, today is the day that I'm going to put on the new tires, and then I've got a lift that's going to be coming. Um, the tires that are on there right now are 31 inch tires. The tires that I'm about to put on there, I think I've already maybe shown y'all, and they are 33 inch tires. Let's just see what the lift difference is between a 31 and a 33. I'm going to go over there and measure. Uh, I guess just to a common area that we can both, you know, go back to for reference. 20 inches is what that is right there. 20 inches with 30. Going to be putting some of this Permatex anti-seize lubricant on there. This costs $10. Um, I'll be putting that between, uh, you know, the, the new spacer and the, uh, the hub, if you will. So I'm going to get to work on wrenching and, and taking off a... Uh, a wheel I'll probably put it on the first the front one first and then just sort of go from there also I had to go and buy me a better torque wrench with a half drive so I could get up to the 90 to 100 pounds Okay, I'm just going to get in here and just sort of lightly sand this with a little block just to sort of get it clean. There's some debris hanging out here, so I'm going to get in there and clean that up. Okay, here's the new G2 spacers. Got these on a phenomenal deal. Um, so I'm going to get to mounting these. They should just mount straight on there. And I'm going to put a little bit of this on the back side of here. Okay, the anti-seize is on there. And the, uh, <laughs> the thread locker is on there. So put the thread locker on there. I tighten these down to 95 pounds just to be safe. It could have been 100. It could have been 90. Just met in the middle, did 95. Um, so it's time to get that new wheel put on. Okay, this is what they look like, just setting up under there. Now, I don't think this Jeep has a lift on it. It might have had a different set of springs put on it at some point, but I don't think it has a lift. That's a pretty good look. Let me give you the outside poke look, if you will. So that's a good look, and I'll do a comparison on what a 33 versus a 31 tire looks like as well. And then there's another comparison for you. So you can see that there's a little bit of obviously difference. So there you go. I'm gonna get to installing the rest of them. Okay, let's go to the tail of the tape.
one inch. It gave me a one inch lift there. Well, I made the hour and something drive to get to four wheel parts. And so next time y'all see this, it will be with a lift on it. And hopefully there's a difference.